Hi viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll show you how to create a profit and loss statement in Excel sheet. It's a simple format and so easy to make with basic Excel techniques and can be expanded to suit your business needs. This template is useful for small companies that don't have accounting software. Before moving ahead, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our videos based on VAT and accounting. Let's get started. We'll start off by creating a blank workbook and adding some sheets to record the transactions. Let's create a sheet to record basic details. Rename the sheet to details. Type is company name and in the next column, type your company name. We'll type Hob Trading here for our demo. Then type period, and in the next column, type your transaction period. We'll type 1st of October, to 31st of October, as our transaction period. Next we'll set up a dynamic title, for the reporting period. For that, we'll use a formula here. Type equals, and type, for the period. Colon, ampersand, select the start date, ampersand, 2 ampersand select the end date and hit enter now we got the date in number format so we need to change to date format for that click the formula bar and here after ampersand type text select value c9 and type mm dd four times y in double quotes and close the bracket and we'll type the same here as well Now the title is ready. Add another sheet for our dashboard. Rename the sheet to dashboard. Then type sales, purchases, profit or loss, and VAT. Change the color as per your choice, and do some formatting. Add the company name and period by typing equals and select the same from the details sheet and hit enter. Let's add a new sheet. This sheet is for recording sales transactions. Add your company name here by typing equals and select the company name from the details sheet. Type sales in the next row and add the transaction period in the next row. Now type the headings. Date, invoice number, particulars or customer name, taxable amount, VAT, and net amount. After formatting, Select the heading in three rows below like this. And then, press Ctrl and T. Select, my table has headers. And click OK. And uncheck, banded rows. Now you can see, the selected range changed to table format. This will help you to enter many transactions. You will understand this later in our video. Add the borders. And we are done with the sales sheet. Let's move on and create a sheet for purchases. Add new sheet by clicking the plus button and rename the sheet to purchases. Type the titles and heading for the sheet. Date, invoice number, supplier name, taxable amount, VAT, and net amount. Do some formatting. Select the headings in two rows below. Press Ctrl and T. Select or check my table as headers. And click OK. Add the borders. 
and the purchase sheet is ready. Now, create a sheet for taxable expenses. Add new sheet. Add the titles and heading for the sheet. Date, voucher number, account head, taxable amount, VAT, and net amount. Format the sheet. Press Ctrl and T. Select my table as headers. And click OK. Add the borders. Change the sheet name to taxable expenses. Now, create a sheet for non-taxable expenses. Click the plus button to add new sheet. Change the sheet name to non-taxable expense. Type the titles and heading for the sheet. Date, voucher number, account head, and amount. Add table, by pressing Ctrl and T. Add the borders. Now our sheets are ready for adding transactions. Add some transactions in the sales sheet. You can see the table is expanding as you enter transactions. Add the formula for VAT, which is taxable amount, multiplied by 5%. And for net column, taxable amount, plus VAT. Move on and add the transactions in other sheets as well, in the same way. We just add some transactions. Now, add a sheet for profit and loss. Change the sheet name to profit and loss. Now go to sales sheet. Insert a column, and rename the heading to group. Type sales in the first column, and move the cursor to the corner, and double click. Select the table range, and click on table design. Click, summarize with pivot table. Click existing worksheet and select Profit and Loss Sheet. Select an appropriate place, and click OK. And in the Pivot Table fields, select Group, and Taxable Amount. Click on Field Header to remove row labels. Now close the Pivot Table field, and select the Table Heading, and click Field Settings. Rename the heading to Amount. Click Number Format. Select Currency, and select the Currency symbol from the list, as per your choice. We'll select AED, for our example. Click OK, once you select the currency symbol. And click OK in field settings. Do the same in purchase sheet. Insert column for group. Type purchases in the group column. Select the table design, and place the pivot table in profit and loss sheet. In the pivot table field, Select Group, and Taxable Amount. Change the header, and select Currency. Now select Taxable Expenses Sheet. Insert column for Group. Type, Indirect Expenses Taxable, as our group. Add the pivot table in profit and loss sheet. In the pivot table fields, we'll select group, account head, and taxable amount. Change the heading and currency symbol as we did before. Select non-taxable expenses, insert column for group. Type, indirect expenses non-taxable as our group. Place the pivot table, 
in the profit and loss sheet. Select group account head and amount from the pivot table field. Change the heading and currency symbol. We have included all our transactions in the profit and loss sheet. Now let's add the formulas. Type gross profit here. And in the amount column, type equals, select sales amount, minus, purchase amount, and hit enter. Do the formatting like this. Type total indirect expenses here. Add the formula. In the amount column, type equals, and select, indirect expenses taxable amount, plus indirect expenses non-taxable amount, and hit enter. And below that, type net profit or loss. Add the formula, in the amount column, type equals, and select, gross profit amount, minus, total indirect expenses amount. Add color as per your choice, and format the sheet. Add new sheet for VAT summary. Change the sheet name to VAT. Add the headings, particulars, taxable amount, and VAT. Type sales, in particulars column. And add formula, in the taxable amount column. Type equals in sum, open bracket. Click sales sheet, and select the taxable amount range. And hit enter. Drag the taxable amount column, and drop to VAT column, to get the VAT amount. Now, type purchases. Add the formula, in the amount column. Type equals, sum, open bracket. Click purchases sheet. And select the taxable amount range. And hit enter. Drag the taxable amount column, and drop to VAT column, to get the VAT amount. Type taxable expenses, in the next row. Add the formula, type equals, sum, open bracket. Click taxable expenses sheet and select the taxable amount range, and hit enter. Drag the taxable amount column, and drop to VAT column, to get the VAT amount. Type VAT payable. Add the formula. Type equals. Select VAT on sales, minus, type sum, open bracket, and select VAT on purchases and taxable expenses amounts, close bracket and hit enter. Do some formatting and the sheet for VAT is ready. Now select the sheet for dashboard. Select the sales column. Type equals, sum, open bracket, select the sheet for sales, select the taxable amount range, and hit enter. Select purchase column. Type equals, sum, open bracket, select the sheet for purchases, select the taxable amount range, and hit enter. Select profit and loss column. Type equals, select the profit and loss sheet, Select the profit and loss amount, and hit enter. Now select VAT column. Type equals, select sheet for VAT, select the VAT payable amount and hit enter. Now we have the dashboard ready. Let's add a chart for sales. For that, click on insert, go to charts. We'll select this. Now, click Select Data, and in Sales Sheet, select Date Range, press and hold Control key, and select the taxable amount range, and click OK. Change the title to Sales. We'll change the color here. And that's it. The Profit and Loss Sheet is ready. The profit and loss which we prepared, is dynamic in nature, which means, 
Once we add or change any data, the report will change automatically. Let's add some transactions to check how it affects the reports. Add an entry in non-taxable expense sheet. We'll add a new expense head. Enter the date and voucher number, type the group. Type gift as the account head and enter the amount. Now check the profit and loss. Click the pivot table and click on refresh to update the profit and loss. You can see here, the new expense head is added with the value. Let's try in another sheet. Select taxable expense. Type maintenance as the expense head and type the amount. Check the profit and loss. Refresh the pivot table. See, the account head is added. After you prepare this profit and loss, all you need to do is to keep recording your transactions and the profit and loss will get updated. As you know, we use only some basic Excel tools. Do try creating this and leave your comments if it works for you. This is the end of our session. Hope this tutorial is helpful to you. Click the like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel to get updated on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.